Hi everyone, welcome to Wealthy Mindset. My name is Oliver, thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a great day like always. And today I'm gonna to be covering the stock market, specifically for February 24th, by analyzing the Dow Jones, giving you guys the highs and lows for uh, the market in terms of play tomorrow. Now this is before pre-market, so keep that in mind. It's a little bit more difficult uh, to do it without pre-market information, but I'll be releasing this video today and then hopefully tomorrow morning, I'll be able to release another video just like this, but with a little bit of pre-market knowledge. Now, if you're also, yeah, if you're interested into the overall market to know if we're gonna have a stock market crash soon, I released a video that's gonna pop up here or at the end of the video. It's really uh, jam-packed with a lot of good information, so I highly encourage you to watch it if you're interested. Quick disclaimer, like always, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a professional, so everything I do share with you guys is just my opinion and it's not advice. So don't buy and sell based off the information I share or the opinions I do. But we closed off at 31,537 as of February 23rd, 2021. Now this upward trend resistance line that I've showed in the past, dating back since the dot-com bubble, more specifically since 1999, you can see the dates right here. Upward trend resistance line, passed it at the peak of the dot-com bubble in 2000, but it was a false breakout. And then ever since then, we didn't get back up there until 2018, right here, you can see the back test 2018. And then we back tested it just before the pandemic. So right here, 2020, February 3rd, somewhere around there, or February 10th. And then um, the pandemic happened, we went down, had a V-shaped recovery, had an upward trend support line ever since the, uh, the bottom of the pandemic. And you can see back tested here, back tested here. And then I drew too many lines here, but this is the point that it back tests. So we still have this line intact. And what could happen is right here, you see where it bounced back up to the upside and then it's curving here. It could essentially bounce off this point and go to the upside. Now, if it breaks that line or breaks this upward trend support line, it's not the end of the world because we could bounce off this um, upward trend resistance line and act as support that dates back since the 2000, 1999, just like we did here. The only problem is it's, it's not really a great support line that we saw right here at the moment. So there's a chance that this could be repeated. We bounce up, like, let me just draw it at the same time. So let's just say we break through and then we bounce here and then we bounce up to the upside and then we just come back down just like we did earlier here. I don't know why the lines are messing up right now. It's probably because I'm at the top of the graph, but hopefully you get the idea. If you guys don't just ask any questions, like feel free to ask any questions, don't get be discouraged and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. But those are two scenarios that could happen. I'm banking on that it's gonna hit this support line and bounce up to the upside. Again, if you watch my video for the stock market crash, I, I explain a bunch of things so hopefully you guys enjoy that video as well. Now, for what's gonna happen specifically for tomorrow, we can see right about here. So, like I stated in the video previously, that if we do go high, the highest we'll go is the previous high, which was 31,653 and 50 cents, but we hit 40 cents instead of 50. Now, we have this channel right here, acting as resistance and support all the way through here. So back test resistance, support 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 it broke through today so this was today yesterday's close was at this price then we just dropped down dr dramatically but we bounced off the upward trend support line this support line is from the pandemic time so that is perfect and uh bounced up came through back up to the support line unfortunately did not stay there and then ended up coming down underneath it underneath it back testing got shot down again came back up and broke through which was perfect so now we went up here and you can see this resistance line that kept us down um, this resistance line started since february 16th and we've been basically falling through the whole entire time now in the next few days so tomorrow's trading day february 24th next day is february 25th and then obviously the 26th but what i'm trying to say is by the 26th maybe even march 1st is in play yeah march march 1st we have until Okay, so we could probably have until March 3rd, potentially, maybe even bleed into March 4th. But by then, we could continue on this trend right here, going back and forth, back and forth. But what we're trying to do is bounce off. So it could happen on the Friday, I believe. The, yeah, on the Friday, possibly. What we need to do is bounce off here at one point and then go to the upside. So in the meantime, the question is, how low will we go for tomorrow or how high will we go for tomorrow and what's gonna happen? I think this channel is gonna still continue for tomorrow. I don't think tomorrow is essentially the day that's gonna break off to the upside completely. Um, so if we go low, the lowest will go that, I don't wanna break the support line. This is in theory of not breaking the support line, by the way, the upward trend support line. If you think it's gonna break the upward trend support line, 
you think we're gonna hit 31,100, um, yeah, 31,100, give or take, with a couple of dollars. Maybe even 30,964, uh, 30, but I don't think those are in play. In my opinion, what I think is in play is when I checked it and I like, measured the graph and everything, it's gonna hit right here. So come down at this point, right about here, and then come back up. Maybe even get shot down, who knows, just like it did earlier and then come back up. But um, either way, it's gonna hit 31,248. That's what it was. So right here is 31,248. But that would be the worst case. Now for the best case, we could get shot down again at 31,653 and 50 cents or whatever whatever it might be, plus or minus a couple of dollars, right? Um, but there's a good chance that we could hit 31,677 or 31,700 or 31,726, what I measured. So those three levels. Um, but the only thing is though, it's it's gonna be a little bit tricky. Most likely probably get shot down tomorrow by like the same price point. But if we do break through, we won't be skyrocketing. We'll be hit, getting hit by that level just because of this upward trend resistance line. That's that's what I'm following, by the way, just in case if you're wondering how I got those prices, it's because this upward trend uh, um, resistance line. It's not the cleanest line, but there is touch points, one, two, three. So it is in play, and then technically four right here. But that one, when I zoomed in, it wasn't the strongest touch point. So there's that. But I'm pretty optimistic tomorrow is going to just essentially repeat the same thing that happened today. So it's a little bit difficult to know without pre-market. We are above the long moving average and above the short moving average, but this is gonna be breaking tomorrow. MACD line is crossed over to a positive too, by the way. So hope you guys enjoy the video like always. Thanks again for watching. If you guys th did like the video, consider dropping a like. It helps out the channel a lot. Really appreciate it, thank you so much. And if you do like videos in terms of passive income, uh, stocks, mortgages, credit scores, consider subscribing. Also helps out the channel, thank you so much again. The channel has been growing like a lot, so thank you so much for that. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.